Hey everyone, so um, today uh, over here, as you can see, I have three different Dutch ovens and uh, I want to quickly talk about, um, I guess, the differences or the similarities between um, the three Dutch ovens available over here. Um, first thing first, uh, this one, it's a generic brand Dutch oven, which I got for $15 um, at Kmart when it was on sale online. Um, I think it's a six or seven quart um, quart um, volume, and it's pretty it's pretty big and pretty hefty. Um, of course, it's 100% cast iron with a enamel coating. Um, and over here, this is a fifty dollar um, Dutch oven, and it's a uh, three quart, I think, um, and. It features a smooth lid, doesn't have the self-basing system, um, but it does have the enamel coating on the inside as well as, of course, the traditional colored enamel coating on the outside. Um, and it's made by Lodge, um, which they were famous for their just regular cast iron skillets and stuff. Um, over here, this is our newest addition. Um, it's a stout. I think that's how you call it um, Dutch oven which is like a four four quart uh, wide so it's not as tall as a traditional one like that one and it's it's more wide so it's it's better fitted for our cooking needs um, and this one I think it cost us a uh, hundred a hundred forty nine dollars plus shipping um, And uh, the reason I want to talk about those is because all three significant price difference, but in the end, the 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 um, I would say the cooking or whatever you're cooking inside, it turns out exactly the same. Um, so, to me, I think the biggest difference in terms of price is the overall finish of the enamel coating. Uh, for example, the $150 one, um, it have uh, at least three layers. Well, I just chopped it, so I'm sorry. Uh, three layers of enamel coating and uh, let's see, hopefully I didn't break it. Hmm. Yep, I chipped it a little bit. So check it out. So it was chipped, crap. Um, so yeah, what can I say? $150 and I just chipped it. Um, and I made a small chip right over here when I was dropped, when it was dropped. So, and the lid is super heavy, okay. Uh, it have a self-basing lid, so it have those bumps right over here. Uh, of course, it's made in France, so the interior um, is matte black, but it's also a kind of an enamel coating. So uh, what it does is, um, it's not a smooth surface, it's not as smooth as a traditional enamel coating, like. This one, the large one had over here, which like kind of glossy looking. Um, this is matte finish. What they say it does is it actually helps to um, keep the food from sticking to the bottom of the pan. Um, so over here, the interior of the stout is all matte finish enamel. And uh, it says from the instruction manual, the more you use it, uh, the less sticky it will get. Um, and also, for the best results, it's, 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 you have to treat the interior like a regular cast iron skillet. So, as you can see, it's kind of, I actually have to um, put, some, put some oil um, into the surface. They say it helps to uh, prolong the life or enhance the non-stick capability um, and so that's stub um, again the lid is super heavy compared to the rest of the two uh, those two are like 
pretty much traditional. The $15 one actually also have a self-basing lid. Um, but as you can see, the, the enamel from the interior, even from the top, it's already started to pit. So um, the, the iron, the cast iron, uh, is actually starts to show up at the top. I don't know why, because this, at this surface never touched any food. It was only steam. So, um, of course, the enamel on the exterior, it's okay. It's not as shiny, as glossy as the stub um, coating right over here. So as you can see, like it's, it's a beautiful finish. Um, of course, a stainless steel knob with a stainless steel screw on the bottom. And uh, the lodge, it's, it's, it's kind of in between. Um, I guess it have some more glossiness compared to the $15 one, but it's not as glossy of a finish as a stop. And uh, um, when I bought this, the, the top knob is already scratched, kind of. So um, I guess the, the quality control is kind of questionable. And this one is made in China, same as that one. And this one is made in France, I think I just mentioned. Um, and another thing is, even though the lodge is advertised as having a matte enamel right over here, when we first used uh, this large uh, Dutch oven, it actually started to rust. Um, so the rust spot was showing right over here around this edge, even though it says it's non-rust, it's not gonna rust. It still starts to rust. So um, quality is questionable. Um, that's why we're actually gonna return this $50 large Dutch oven back to where we bought it and we are actually gonna keep this one but uh, as you can just saw as you just saw I actually chipped it so we're keeping an eye on the um, we're keeping an eye um, on this chip right over here so later on if it actually does rust and stuff um, I'll do an update and hopefully uh, we're, we're actually test the lifetime warranty uh, from Staub and see if it actually lives up lives up to the um, to the claim um, so by the way also warranty um, this one have a lifetime warranty um, this one uh, I don't think they have any warranty because it's being discontinued and the lodge I think have a one or two year warranty max and uh, uh, in terms of regular use we had this generic $15 pod for about two years. Um, it haven't given us any problem. The bottom, as you can see, the color of the bottom is, um, it's still pretty glossy, but it have some discoloration, which doesn't really affect the use. Uh, some very slight scratches, but uh, it's very slight. Um, nothing actually gets stick to the bottom um, that bad even though it would get stick just use some water and soak it for a little bit and it all comes off so um, we use this biggest one for when we have to cook some large stock or a large amount of food so the one that's gonna get used the most now is actually gonna be the four quart um, stop Dutch oven right over here so I would say um, if you actually want a good quality Dutch oven you don't have to spend a lot of money um, you can just get something within that price range and it, it also have different uh, um, different volumes available so it have larger even larger one and they have smaller one or for like I guess less than fifty dollars you can have a quality Dutch oven um, the only difference between all those I would have to say is the exterior finish as well as the internal finish um, but again, the food comes out of the all three exactly the same. There's no special taste that you're gonna get from any of those um, that's gonna stand out. So there you have it. Um, the in conclusion, we're gonna have we're gonna keep this too because only based on the cooking we're gonna use it the most. And this one, we we're returning it because it claims to have a no rust matte enamel finish but it actually doesn't on this large one so um, I would consider it false advertising so uh, the next time we're gonna get a Dutch oven it's either gonna be a very cheap one or maybe a similar one as this stub but in a different volume maybe a larger one maybe a smaller one maybe a narrow one it all depends on the cooking 
So there you have it. If you guys have any questions about um, those Dutch ovens, feel free to comment in the comment section below. Otherwise, uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, hope you guys have a great night.